Hi, this is Richard Quack here. Welcome to another session of my video. In today's session, I would like to talk about network marketing. And the topic is how to sell or recruit on your Facebook profile page. All right. Now, this is relevant not only to network marketing, but to any business that you are trying to get involved using Facebook. Okay. Now, before I start, let me give you a statement here all right now this is only my opinion all right so take it with a pinch of salt all right if you think that it is good then you're welcome to make use of the information that i'm providing you but if you think that it is of not much help to you then no problem with me whatsoever okay you can discard the idea all right so most people try to sell or recruit on their profile page is that true most people are trying their best to sell or recruit on their profile page if you notice on many profile page outside there they will show you pictures all right pictures of the products pictures of the company and so on all right and even on the cover page as well you know on the header the cover page uh you know the cover photo they will have picture of the products there and also the name of the company and so on all right and also within their post as well they talk about their company uh they talk about their products and services and so on all right now if you're one of these people who are using this type of strategy let me ask you honestly are you having success with it are you having success with it not really i can tell you the truth you know not many people are successful using this type of strategy because you are pushing people about your company about your product and so on and don't forget especially in network marketing all right most of them are already in another company and they are having problem there and now you're trying to push them another problem all right people do not want to have problem they want to have a solution how to solve their problem all right being in a network marketing marketing company most of them are already having a problem of their own now you're going to push product and also a uh, business opportunity to them which add to their problem so that does not help at all all right so basically uh i mentioned earlier in my previous facebook live we do not want to tell people about the products and company you are with okay especially when you're doing network marketing all right it is okay to tell people that you are involved in network marketing but never never mention the name of your company and also the product you are marketing because when you mention the product you're marketing they will relate to the company that's for sure all right so the thing is that you should not all right show people the company and also the product that you're involved with in your uh, facebook profile page and in the post as well okay now why is that so why is that so let me explain to you i think i did explain the other day but anyway let me repeat it for you you see when people know about your company all right they will do a search on google that's for sure all right if they do not know your company they make a search on google and you know what happened when they make a search of google there are a lot of negative information there all right because anybody can have a blog or website and they can uh, comment anything negative they like to all right so basically you know people know the name of the company they make a search on google and they end up in a website that say that it is a scam so what is your chance of talking to these people now they will run away because why it is a scam to them it is a scam because people don't forget people are easily influenced by information that they get from the internet whether it's positive or negative and of course i believe that negative will influence people more than positive don't you think so all right now that's the first thing all right the second thing is that when people are searching for the product or company that you are with what happened is that they might land on another website that belong to another distributor in the same company and you know what they might end up buying products or even joining the other uh, person so what happened to you so that is why i advise that you know don't mention the name of the company or the product because why curiosity is very important all right like i always talk in a uh, uh, marketing term there's a term called ziganic effect what it means is that the power of unfinished thought that means when people do not know they want to know when they know it already they don't want to know anymore are you with me so the power of unfinished thought is very very critical this is important if you see a lot of people watching the tv series you know they cannot stop watching the series they want to see after the next series uh, the next 
episode, the next episode, and so on. Because why? The ending part is always very interesting. All right. So that is what it is. The power of unfinished thought. You want to uh, see what is happening. The next episode. Same thing here as well. If they don't know what you are doing, they want to know more. But the moment they know about it, then you have a problem then. Okay? Now, how do you sell then? Okay? Then, Richard, how do you sell on, on, on your Facebook profile page? The truth is that, you know, you do not sell on your profile page. You do not sell on your profile page. I repeat it again, all right? You do not sell on your profile page. The page is to brand you and to build trust. All right? The page is to brand yourself and to build trust. That is why it's important to put out posts that are valuable, posts that can give people information that are valuable. Yeah, you need to give people value. That's the most important thing. So the profile page will also talk about you. There's one page the other day I mentioned, the about page. Make sure that you feel the about page because why? That page will talk about you. You got to talk about who are you and what you do, how you can offer, what you can offer people and so on. Because you don't have to tell them. They will go to your about page and from the about page, they will know about you. And you got to wow people with what you write on the about page. So take some time to do that, okay? I'm not going to go through with you again here. So now, you can be asking me now. So Richard, if I don't sell or recruit on my profile page, how do I sell and recruit them? Well, very simple. Never, never do selling or recruiting on your profile page, all right? You are going to do it on Messenger. Do you know Facebook has got Messenger whereby you message people, right? So you communicate through Messenger. Why? You want to build relationship and gain trust, all right? So when you use Messenger and communicate with people, what you are going to do is that, you know, you're going to uh, uh, gather information about them, know about them, you don't have to tell them about who you are, so because it's on your about page. So you want to do what you want to do is that you no know, find out more about them. All right, find out more about them, and don't forget messenger that you're going to send message to them. Don't push your product and company as well. All right, don't do it until when they ask you. Then only then you react to it. Okay. So when people show interest only then only then. You provide them with information. But before that, no, don't. Don't try to uh, uh, ask them for, you know, would you be interested to find out about this company? Would you like be interested to find out about this product or not? No, no. You talk to them generally, just like a friend, all right? Just like a friend. And then when you talk to them, you will get messages from them. Whether they're having problem with the finances, whether they are, they're having problem with the how or what. Then only then, then your intention is to help them, not to sell to them. Are you I me? Mean? You want to help them. So, be an expert, be an advisor, be a person who wants to give them uh, advice to help them to change their life. That is what it's all about. It's not about trying to sell them. Even you use Messenger, don't try to sell them. Alright? Build relationship with them. But again, when you use Messenger, what is your intention? Your intention is, of course, to sell and to recruit. So, don't go into, don't stray, don't stray. Your communication, don't stray into... Uh, you know, how long you've been married, uh, how many children you have, how many wives you have, and so on. No, don't stray into all those things. Keep it very, very professional. Okay, ask them what they do, how long they've been doing it, you know, uh, uh, what did they do before that, and so on. Questions like that, to find out more about them. That's what is important. The whole idea is that, you know, you want to find out more about them. For all you know, they are already in the company you're with, right? So basically, you want to find out more about them. Or... You know, they, 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 they have very bad experience in network marketing. If they have bad experience in network marketing, then of course, it is, uh, you know, it's a good idea for you to be able to help them to clarify their problem, help them to resolve their problem. All right, don't try to sell them. Don't try to recruit them on Facebook Messenger as well. Just get to know them. Only when they ask you for more information, you know, at the final, you know, moment only, you will tell them, all right? When people show interest, then what you want to do is that you provide them with information. But this is the thing here. What you want to do is that bring them outside of Facebook. Even when you're talking to them on Messenger, try to bring them outside of Facebook. What do I mean by that? Alright, you can bring them outside by pointing them to your website, pointing them to your blog, pointing them you to your squeeze page, or get a Zoom appointment with them. Meet them over Zoom, all right? So basically, you know, that is what you want. When they are interested, you want to find out more, then send them out of Facebook into and 
to a website or a Zoom presentation or whatever is or a webinar or whatever it is, all right? Take them outside of Facebook. Okay, that is the whole idea. All right. Now, another advice I can give you is that I know when you're in network marketing, the company will have their own website. All right, that's true, right? The company have their own website, but you know what? Don't send them to the company's website. Don't send them to the company's website. Do you know why? Because the company's website is basically giving them tons of information, number one, okay? And the website also cannot talk about a lot of things, all right? Because, you know, they, they are governed by, government, governed by uh, uh, regulations and so They cannot say a lot of things about their product as well, all right? So what you can do is that don't send them to the company website. What you need to do is create your own website and then send them to the website that you created. So basically what you do is that you need to create your own website. If you cannot do that, you can get people to do it for you. You can outsource to other people to do it for you. All right. But the thing is that, you know, don't send them to the company website because company website is not effective. You won't be able to capture lead as well. You want to be able to capture the people who visit your website to build a list as well so that you can follow up with them later on. But the thing is that if you are sending, sending them to the company website, well, there will be tons of information, you know, information overload can sometimes put people off. Don't you think so? People get fearful when there's too much information. All right, send them to your own website where you have a squeeze page to capture the detail and then after that, follow through. All right. Now, if you're interested how it can be done, I have got one of my own website. I've got many websites, of course, but one of my website that I just created recently, you can go have a look at it, all right? And you can ask me any advice, opinion, or whatever it is, all right? So, uh, this is the website, www.dreamhacker, D-R-E-A-M-H-A-C-K-E-R, V-I-P, dreamhacker, V-I-P, dot com, all right? Now, if you want to, you go to the website, have a look, and also go through the funnel. Because when once you go to the funnel, then you yourself will learn how it is created, how you create funnels for your uh, network marketing business, and so on. All right. So basically, uh, don't send them to the company website. Create your own website. Create your own squeeze page because you need to be able to uh, uh, capture people's email address and name so that you can follow up later on. Right. If you send to the company website, there's no no such thing there. Or even if they have, it will belong to the company, not to you. Are you with me? So basically, it is, you know, more uh, 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 creative, I would say, you know, to create your own website. All right. I, I, I tell you honest truth, creating your own website is not difficult, especially today with all the blocking platform, there are many uh, plugins, there are many teams there that will allow you to do it. All right. And like I always tell people, to create a website is not difficult at all. All right. Honestly, if you know how to uh, uh, copy and paste, all right, you know how to copy and paste, you know how to type, well, no problem. You can create your own, uh, own website. Okay, so that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something. All right, but the most important thing, I want to leave a message with you that you do not sell or recruit on your prof on your Facebook page. You do not sell or recruit on your Facebook profile page. All right, that will be done on the Facebook fan page or business page. That I won't talk about it now. But on your profile page, the whole idea is to provide people with useful information, valuable information. And if you want to sell, bring them to Messenger and bring them outside of Facebook to a Zoom session, to a, a, a squeeze page, a landing page, or whatever. And don't send to the company page, by the way. All right, create your own. Now, let me summarize for you. All right, most people try to sell or recruit. On your profile page that's a fact all right if you can see a lot of uh, uh, facebook profile page there they have the product picture there the company's name there and so on which is uh, totally wrong all right uh now the thing is that how do you sell on facebook i summarize for you you don't sell on the profile page and so on you communicate with them okay you communicate with them on messenger and the other thing I want to add here, all right, for those people who are more adventurous, all right, you can even use uh, chat box. Today, there are a lot of chat box outside there. You can use chat box, which will automate the whole thing, all right. Uh, there are two uh, main ones that I can recommend. One is ManyChat. The other one is uh, uh, Mobile Monkey, all right. So basically, there are a lot of chat box there, whereby it will automate the whole thing because it's important you use Messenger, right? So chat box will automate the whole thing, whereby uh, it is like you, you set up a sequence and people follow the and answer questions and so on, and you lead them to the website or whatever it is at the end of the day, which are uh, more advanced for those people who are more interested in that. Well, you can look uh, out for that, all right? It's called a Messenger chat box. You can check out uh, uh, 
ManyChat ManyChat M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T dot com ManyChat dot com or MobileMonkey dot com Okay So that's all my sharing for today I hope that you, uh, uh, you learn something If you like what you hear and see Please feel free to like to comment and to share Like I say Alright Engagement is the name of the game In social media like Facebook you need to be engaged Alright It's no point being in Facebook and then you keep to yourself and just watch what's happening engagement is what creates a lot of activity okay so if you like what you hear and see please feel, feel, feel free to like to share and to comment and uh, I would like to thank you for your time that you spent with me today all right and I will uh, end it here uh, I will see you tomorrow again with another session of my uh, Facebook live so this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye